the castle is very nearly finished. There are only a couple of things left to do. Unfortunately, they aren't necessarily small things. The first time tackling is a moat, which means I have to dig, dig, and dig again. While I will be putting water in most of the moat, it doesn't have to be that way. The idea of a moat was to make it difficult for attackers to undermine the castle walls. Moats could be dry, you'd fill them with wooden stakes to make them inhospitable, and moats could be wet. There were different ways to achieve that. Using natural river courses was an easy option if you could find the appropriate river, but it wasn't the only one. As with the mill stream, sometimes there was radical and extensive hydroengineering involved. River courses were redirected, rivers were dammed, locks were used to change water levels, whole artificial lakes were created. At Bodium Castle, the moat is fed by springs and the moat was originally accompanied by a network of artificial ponds so that there was no straight approach to the castle. Filling this moat is a pain and I made it worse than it need have been, although at least I convinced the pillagers to take a bath. <laughs> You know that saying, work smarter, not harder? Yeah, I got there in the end. Now that this part of the moat is done, the rest has to wait till I shift the mason's workshop. It's time to deal with the drawbridge and barbican. Drawbridges were initially very simple. Planks that could be withdrawn or even smashed to prevent entrance to the gatehouse. They were then developed into bascule drawbridges. That's one or more large leaves that swing up, either due to a counterweight or a winch. The drawbridge could then rest flush against the gate, acting as an extra layer of protection. The counterweight could be attached underneath the drawbridge leaf with a beam holding it in place, remove the beam and the bridge swings up, or another option was to use the portcullis itself as the counterweight, which is the approach I've taken. Just imagine the ropes going up into the gatehouse from the drawbridge end. The next step in drawbridge development was the gaff. Horizontal posts are projected from the castle wall and attached to the drawbridge with chains or ropes. The gaffs could be raised from inside the gatehouse, thus raising the drawbridge. While a lot of these have rotted away and not been replaced, you can still see gaff holes on the front of many castle gatehouses. I've quickly built a neck, that's a walled bridge going from the barbican to the drawbridge, which forces attacking troops into a constricted space that is still open to attack from the castle. And now it's onto the Barbican itself, which is basically another gatehouse guarding the castle entrance. Mine is very simple. Two towers, a gate and a portcullis, with arrow loops and murder holes turning the narrow entrance into a death trap. I've got no crenellations or arrow loops on the back, so that should the Barbican fall, it will offer no sort of defence for further attack on the castle. So let's have a look. There's the moat. This is the neck. Um, that was the pond that was next to the castle. I will fix up the water levels, but I'm gonna probably do that off camera. And here is our Barbican, that's the back. And as I said, no arrow loops, no protection, just in case it should fall. And I got rid of the chest monster that was growing here. And ta-da! We have got some arrow loops. Oh, look at that. Oh, that, that is looking good. I am really happy with that. <laughs> That's our barbican. And I've done a little bit of decorating inside. Now, these ladders are temporary. If someone comes out to shut this gate, the ladders will be taken away. So the guards come running in, they pull the ladder on the other side up after them. And as I said, we've got a little bit of decoration here, just a couple of candles. I love the new lighting rules, that's enough. We've got arrow loops down into the death trap. And I haven't done anything up here yet. But arrow loops looking down. And here's our murder holes, ready to drop rocks hot water, whatever you want, down on the attackers. And of course, our portcullis. And we'll just climb out. Oh, I am going to fix all this up so it will all be that the castle's on a foundation of stone, not dirt. But again, I'll probably do that off camera. Although I say off camera, if I'm working in this world, even if I'm not technically recording, 
I have recording running just in case the worst happens. So one barbican, one drawbridge, most of a moat. And next time we will be working in here to finish off the castle. So that's it for today. I know it's quite a short video, but that actually took me hours. Oh, the longer it takes me, the shorter the episode seems to be. Just the way of things. I'll be back next time with what will probably be the final episode for this castle. So if you've made it this far, put the secret code phrase in the comments, so mote it be, and I'll see you next time. Bye.